This is real estate coach Craig Proctor. Thank you for uh, joining me here today. Very important topic, as they all are. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, we're going to talk about how to make money in a strong, which um, arguably this is the strongest seller's market in the history of ever. So. How do we work with buyers profitably? I mean, if you've had the listings uh, over the last year or so, uh, you've you've done really well, and I can definitely show you how to get a lot of listings. But the truth is, many sellers are not willing to list their home for sale until you find them another property. So, how many of you would agree, right? Like, you've got somebody that wants to move, but they're reluctant to list their home for sale until you can find them another property. And in many marketplaces, that's the thing. You can't find them another property. Um, or when you do find them another property, it's like too late, it's already sold. Or you make an offer and you're one of many, many, many offers and you keep losing out. And, you, and it's very frustrating for you. It's very frustrating for the buyer and you never get their listing because you can't find this buyer a property. So we're going to talk about um, how to solve this problem here today. Again, if you joined a bit late, I'm real estate coach Craig Proctor and our topic today is how to make money working with buyers in a real strong seller's market. So let's begin by talking about what not to do. You know, what does the traditional real estate agent do? How do they work with buyers? Well, typically what they're doing is they're saying to the buyer, um, hey, I'm going to email you daily updates of all the homes that are on MLS. The problem with that is, well, first of all, what you're offering to email the buyers, the homes that they can find on their own is a, is a weak offer, right? Like they can find what's listed on MLS without you, right? And they can find that information out um, from any other real estate agent. So certainly that offer of I'll email you the homes that are on MLS, it's not an exclusive offer. It's a weak offer. It doesn't set you apart from all the other agents. And you're not really offering the buyer anything that they just can't do on their own. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to offer the buyer what they really want, how to uh, up your offer, improve your offer to buyers. So the number one thing the buyers want today is they want priority access to proprietary information. I know that's a mouthful, right? But I'll repeat it again. They want priority notification. They want to get instant notification before all the other buyers and they want information, not just on the homes that are available on MLS that they can find online by themselves. They want to get information on homes that are off market properties. Okay. So we're going to talk today about how you can assemble your exclusive list of off market properties, properties that the buyer can't find on their own, um, properties that, um, other agents don't even know about. So um, this offer is the ultimate offer to make. We're going to talk to you about how to build your list of off-market properties. Uh, that will motivate buyers to want to work with you, right? You'll have more buyers contact you, more buyers want to work with you. When I say work with you, we're also going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about setting your rules of engagement, okay? For many of you, because you don't have a strong enough buyer offer, because buyers aren't clamoring to work with you, um, you've got weak rules of engagement. Uh, let's look at the way you work with a seller. If a seller called you and said, um, uh, hey man, I want you to come over and uh, look at my house and advertise it and market it, uh, but I don't want to sign a listing agreement. I want you to show it and do open houses in the weekend and spend all this money promoting it, but I'm not real big on commitment. I don't want to sign a listing agreement. None of us would do that, right? None of us would work with a seller without first having a, um, a contract, an agreement in place that guarantees that we're going to get paid when we sell uh, when we sell the house. So why are the rules different with buyers? So not everybody, but some of you are running around showing buyers properties without an exclusive buyer agency agreement in place. Okay, and it's unnecessary. And I know what some of you are thinking right now is, well, the buyers don't want to sign it. Of course, the buyers don't want to sign it. The sellers don't want to sign a listing agreement either. But if your offer is good, if the words that come out of your mouth are good, the buyers will want to meet with you and they'll want to sign the buyer agreement. This is what I want to share with you. I want to show you how the top realtors are doing this. 
right? So what offer do you need to make uh, to get more buyers contacting you, good buyers, not tire kickers? What offer should you be making to these buyers when you speak with them so that they wanna meet with you and when you have this meeting with them, what words need to come out of your mouth? So the buyer's like, okay, I'm willing to sign the buyer agency agreement. This is what you can't be offering. You can't be telling the buyers what what you've been saying to buy. You, you can't be talking about, well, I'm gonna send you uh, homes that are on MLS. They can do that on their own. You can't be talking about representation. I know they teach us in real estate school. Well, talk to them about representation. Look, the buyers, as we all know, um, I'm not saying representation is important, but it's not what they want, right? That's why they're out there doing most of the work on their own. A lot of buyers that we talk to are like, well, if I work with an agent, they're gonna steer me to certain properties. And there's other properties that may, may pay my the agent less money and they won't tell me about those properties. So there's a distrust. A lot of the buyers wanna get as much information and do most of the work by themselves. I'm just saying that's what the buyers want. We know that. That's why they're out there looking on 17 different websites and gathering all this information on their own before speaking to a real estate agent. And then typically we've been taught to, to say to buyers, well, uh, we're, gonna, we're great negotiators. We'll negotiate for you. Well, hang on a second. Now that the buyers know who has the houses listed and they can find the homes on themselves, the buyers know that if they go directly to the listing agent, they can probably negotiate a pretty good, um, a pretty good deal because there's only one agent involved, right? I'm not saying this is right. I'm saying this is what a lot of the buyers think, that they can go around this now to the listing agent. They can cut a better deal. They can negotiate a better deal. They believe that they're better negotiators or they have their own interest more in mind than going through a real estate agent. So this is the challenge. This is what we're up against because this is what a lot of the buyers believe. So what we have to do is we have to have rules of engagement. So let's just talk in principle, forget about how to do this, but in principle, this is how this deal needs to work for you. You need to have a good offer so buyers contact you. A lot of buyers contact you, why? Because some of the buyers are not gonna be worthy of you. Some of the buyers are not gonna be a very good quality. So if we have a lot of buyers coming to you inexpensively and automatically, like they're chasing you, you're not chasing them. You're not initiating this. You're not cold calling them. You're not sitting in open houses. You're not doing floor time, not doing all the dumb stuff they teach us to do. Instead, you're using smart, modern marketing, making a killer offer so buyers contact you because they want what you're offering, and then you simply um, send them what it is that they want, and now uh, you're engaged in a conversation. We teach you the script to use to qualify the buyers financially, qualify their motivation and timing, so you and I are only meeting with qualified buyers that are ready to buy and sell now. That's why we need a lot of buyers because not all the buyers are gonna fit into the really great qualified, super motivated category. Now, when you meet with these buyers, you must have a killer buyer presentation that compels the buyers to want to meet, to want to sign up with you, to commit to you, okay before you run around showing them houses now you know what happens if you start running around showing them houses before you have the buyer agency agreement signed they don't want to sign it right it's hard to change the rules once you run out there and you start showing buyers a bunch of properties and then you say oh by the way do you want to commit with me i know many of you have been frustrated by this you've spent weeks or months spent wasted weeks or months running around with buyers and sellers showing them properties uh, just to have to, to find that they leave you behind when they're actually ready to buy. Hey, if you want to make a lot of money in real estate, you can't be wasting time with insincere or unmotivated, unqualified buyers or sellers for that matter. I made millions of dollars doing this, folks. I was the number one Remax agent in the entire world within three years of having my real estate license because I set my business up exactly the way we're talking here. I understood what buyers and sellers really wanted. I communicated great offers so I could inexpensively, not spending a fortune, inexpensively reach buyers and sellers, which we're gonna do today on social media, just like I'm talking to you. Right now, this doesn't cost me a penny. This costs me zero dollars to have you listen to my presentation. 
Well, you can do the same thing with your buyers and sellers. So they kind of get to know you, like you, and think, hey, this real estate agent really knows what they're doing. Just like I'm doing here. I'm demonstrating that Craig really like knows how to actually make millions of dollars selling real estate. This works so well, folks, pretty soon, you would be able to hire other agents to come in and do some of the work for you and eventually all of the work. When I was selling five to 600 homes a year, which I did for over a decade, most of the work was done by my team members so I could make a high income and do it year after year and still enjoy my life. Now, once we have the buyer signed up to a buyer agency agreement, we're gonna get the buyers to do most of the work. We're going to be um, educating the buyers on here's how this deal is going to work. Now that you've signed the buyer agency agreement, when we send you properties, the buyers are trained to drive around, look at the properties, and let's say you sent them five, they drive by five, maybe there's only two or three that they want to look at, then we're going to get on the phone, talk to them about the two or three, so maybe we're only showing one out of five properties. So we're going to show you how to dramatically reduce the amount of time that you spend with, with buyers. Now, how do we get this exclusive list of properties? Let's not be lazy about this, right? Um, look, back in the day, before we could email the buyers all the properties that match their criteria, this is what we used to do. We used to talk to a buyer what they about what they wanted to, to, to look at, what was, was of interest to them. And then the real estate agent would go do some digging and find those properties. And then we would tell the, the buyer about them when we go and we'd show the buyer properties. We, every time we showed them a property, we could fine tune, get a better, better understanding of exactly what they're looking for. And uh, you know, a week or two into this, we've got them the perfect property. So here's how we're gonna find our list of off-market properties. First of all, let's start with your database. Don't you have some people that are going to be listing their home in the next couple weeks or couple months? Many of you do, you have a large database of not quite ready to list their home sellers. They're gonna go on the market, but you could be talking to your buyers about homes that you've got that are becoming on the market. You also could do this with your entire office, right? Uh, I worked at a Remax office. There was 55 agents there. Every day there were new homes that were new listings uh, that came into the office that weren't yet broker loaded or uh, my fellow Remax agents were gonna get a, a listing in the next day or two. I would be telling my buyers about this. That would be part of my exclusive list. Plus, how about this? You can get a list of all the for sale by owners in your area. You could call the Fizbos. Call the Fizbo and say, uh, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Fizbo, I see your uh, your home's for sale. Uh, is it still available? Great, um, I'm Craig Proctor. I'm assembling a list of off-market properties and um, because I have so many buyers that can't find a home on MLS, I was wondering, free of charge, no obligation, if you would like me to list uh, information on your home um, uh, and make it available to my uh, on my list of off-market properties to my to the buyers that I have that are interested in a home like yours, great. Uh, and then it would be like, when can, can we come over and have a look at the house? Because if I have a buyer that's interested, I want to have all the information on your property. So Fizbos, that's one way. Um, you could have a relationship with divorce attorneys, okay, where there could be some kind of referral paid back and forth because people are getting divorced. They need to sell their house. These homes are not on the market. You could do the same thing with estate sales, probates, okay? People get married, um, you know, uh, people die. Houses have to be sold. So we can get you set up to create your own proprietary list. Here's another thing we could do. Okay, you're the buyer and you're looking in Glenway Estates. So I do a search in Glenway Estates, nice golf course area. There's no homes available, but you really want Glenway Estates. What I've created is I've created a direct mail piece that I would mail out to every house in Glenway Estates. In fact, I've got this thing on my phone here, um, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Would you guys like these postcards? I'll tell you what I'll do. I will give you these postcards. Um, if you want some of this stuff, uh, just type into the comments right now. Type in bonus gift, bonus gift. If you type that into the comments, I'll have someone on my team follow up with you. I will give you some of this stuff so you can start using it. Free of charge, no obligation. I want to show you how well this works. The best way to convince you that my stuff really works, just give it to you uh, and help you and get you start making money with this. So this first postcard, I don't know if you can see it here. The, the headline says, uh, we would love to buy your home. I don't know if you guys can see that. We would love to buy your home, the one at the top. 
this is a direct mail piece that I would send out to the thousand homes in Glenaway Estates. And basically this direct mail piece is coming from my buyer, okay? And it's saying, hey, we, um, we're looking for a home in Glenaway Estates. Uh, we're looking for a four bedroom, two story. We're flexible on closing. We're willing to pay top dollar. Uh, we're working with real estate agent Craig Proctor. Would you be um, um, interested in potentially selling your home? Uh, totally flexible on closing date. We are firm cash buyers. Um, you can reach our agent Craig Proctor by uh, calling him or texting him at this number. So this is the flip opposite, right? I've got a buyer that's looking for a home in Glenway State. So I'm advertising the buyer to get the seller to contact me. Traditionally, it's the opposite, right? We get the listing and we advertise the house to get the buyer to call us. I am now uh, advertising what the buyer wants to that neighborhood, okay? Completely turning the tables around. Now, imagine if you're my buyer and I said, hey, if you commit to working with me um, and you're looking in Glenway States, we've we've done a search, there's nothing available, you're looking for something very specific, to uh, two-story, four-bedroom home. If you commit to working with me, you know, sign the buyer agreement, I am going to spend uh, $800 of my money to direct mail every house in Glenway States. So I do this. Now, I get three sellers that respond. Well, my buyer is only going to buy one house in Glenway Estates. Now I've got two other sellers that want to sell their home and I can maybe get their listings or find buyers for those properties as well. So there's all these great strategies that we have for you to be aggressive, for you to not sound like all the other agents. Yeah, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to email you all the properties on MLS. <laughs> any, any agent can do that. They can find the properties by themselves. Well, we're good negotiators. No, no, they think they're better negotiators because they can go directly to the listing agent. Well, don't you want my representation? I guess they don't because they're doing so much of the work themselves, they're reluctant to call an agent. The last thing they do is call a real estate agent. We want the real estate, we want the buyers to call you first. We want to make such a compelling offer that the buyers not only come to you in droves, but if that was true, if you had hundreds of buyers calling you every month, you could be picky. You could be highly selective. You could raise the bar. You could say, hmm, I can't work with hundreds of buyers. What would you do? You'd say, well, since I can't work with them all, I am going to exercise my, my right of choice, my power of choice. And I, as a real estate agent, am going to choose to work with the only the most motivated, the most sincere, the most ready to act buyers uh, that come to me. And those are the ones that we're gonna work with and um, they will need to sign a buyer agency agreement. If they don't sign the buyer agency agreement, we ain't running around showing them houses. It's that simple, right? Um, now, will some of the buyers refuse to sign the buyer agency agreement? Yes, just like some of the sellers you meet with won't list their home with you. That doesn't mean you stop trying to get listings, right? Same thing with buyers. Not all the buyers you meet with are gonna sign the buyer agency agreement, but if you follow Craig Proctor, I'm gonna show you how to get most of them because they're gonna to want to. See, you gotta get your head on straight. You might be thinking right now, well, how do I make them sign? No, we're not making them sign. They want to sign because we've got a really good presentation. We've got things that we're going to offer them that other agents don't offer. And by the way, it doesn't cost them anything to sign the buyer agency agreement, right? Uh, if they don't buy a house, then you know we don't get paid and they don't find a house. So they're under no obligation to buy, but if they buy, we need to know they're gonna buy with us. We need to know that they're committed. Um, okay, what else have I got? Uh, we've talked about using target marketing uh, to market homes. So whatever neighborhood they're looking in, Okay, we can target market that neighborhood or that type of home. And so what we're doing is we're advertising what the buyer wants, okay, without specifically using their name, we're advertising what the buyer wants to find sellers to come forward and say, yeah, I would sell my house. Uh, if I, you know, if I get full price, I get a good price and you're flexible on closing, I would do that. Flip opposite, right? Advertising the buyer instead of the house. Everyone else is advertising the, the house to get the buyer, we're doing the opposite. And most of the things we teach in Craig Proctor World, we're pushing against industry norms. When everyone's doing it this way, we're doing it a completely different way. Why? Because that's what buyers and sellers want. It's easier to be different than it is to be better. 
Okay, so let me review what we've talked about. I'm looking at my list here on the phone. Um, what's the problem? Lots of buyers, right? Not too many sellers. And the buyers, um, the sellers don't want to list their home until you find them another house. Okay, what do other agents do? Same as everybody else. We'll email you the properties on MLS and then you wonder why you can't find the buyer a house. The buyer's like, well, every house you show me is either sold or there's 18 other offers on it. And so they're frustrated. And by the way, you're not offering, you're not adding any value to this relationship. Why do you think when you're emailing them properties, they're also talking to other agents and they're on Zillow and they're on 18 other different websites? Because uh, the biggest fear the buyer has is the fear on missing out, right? It's fear of loss. So that's why my offer to buyers, watch this, you're the buyer, here's what I would say to you. I would say, um, would you like to receive priority access to hot new listings that match your home buying criteria? My list includes any bank foreclosures, distress sales, vacant properties, uh, company transfers, um, and homes that are not on the market, off market properties. It's, uh, would that interest you? Because it's absolutely free of charge and no obligation for me to set you up to receive this kind of information. In other words, would you, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, like to receive priority access on uh, priority access on proprietary information, on off-market properties and great deals, absolutely free of charge, you're never obligated to do anything, would that interest you? 100% of the time, or close to, the buyer says, yes, the buyer says, yes, I want it, boom. Okay, now what we come back with is a commitment. We made an offer. The buyer says, yes, I want it. Now you can come back with your commitment, which is great. Um, when can we get together for about 15 or 20 minutes so I can take down exactly what you're looking for? Um, because uh, rather than me emailing you dozens of homes that don't match your criteria, or even worse, us missing out on the perfect property. If we can get together for about 15 or 20 minutes, we can take down exactly what you're looking for. And that way, I'll only be sending you homes that are a perfect match. Boom. Now the buyer says, okay, great. Sometimes the buyer might say, well, if I meet with you, do I have to sign anything? No, the truth is they don't have to sign anything. But if they don't sign the buyer agreement, I don't have to work with them either, right? But hardly anybody asks that. So now we have the appointment set. Now, the next question is, what do I say when I meet with them? What does this ultimate buyer presentation look like? So at the end of it, they're like, yeah, I wanna to commit to you. If you don't have a good presentation, of course they don't commit to you. If you sound like all the other agents, if you don't provide massive value, they're not going to sign the buyer agency agreement. And that means you don't have any loyalty. And that means the buyer is a maybe. Okay, now I know you're saying, well, I've got a great personality and people really like me. I get it. But how many of you have been burned by buyers? Let me know in the comments if you've been burned by buyers before. You thought you had good rapport. You thought you had a good relationship. Uh, you thought you had the mutual trust and you got burned. If you want to make a lot of money in real estate, you don't have time for that. You have to be very guarded with how you spend your time if you want to make a, a lot of money in real estate. Take it from me, folks. I have made a lot of money selling real estate. I was the number one Remax agent in the world several times for Remax. Nobody made more money. I started as a solo agent. I built a successful team. I want to show you how I did this. Okay, there are secrets. Success leaves secrets. You need someone to help you understand what needs to be done and understand how to do it. The other thing that would be helpful is if I could sort of get in your head and help you adjust your paradigm. What is a paradigm? Paradigm are other people's habits. Okay, like we are letting other people's habits dictate the success or lack of success that we're having here in our real estate business. What's the first thing we do when we get into real estate? We look around at what all the other real estate agents are doing and we think, okay, well, that's the way to do it. And we copy them. That doesn't make it right. The entire real estate industry is operating under an old paradigm. I wanna help you get your head on right. I wanna help you understand what needs to be done, what it is the buyers and sellers really want. Forget what everyone else is doing. If you wanna be super successful, there's clues to this. Now, if you like this, if, how many of you are finding this, by the way, incredibly helpful? Let me know in the comments if you're finding this information incredibly helpful. Okay, because if you are, you can book a call with me and my team. 
you can book a call with me and my team at proctorcall.com. If someone could type that into the comments below, my name, proctorcall.com. We will spend 45 minutes with you. We'll ask you a bunch of questions about what you're doing, why you're doing it, and we'll show you better ways to do it. Free of charge, just like this video here, absolutely free of charge. I hope you're finding it incredibly uh, helpful. Imagine being on with us for 45 minutes where we specifically ask you questions about you and your business and we give you a couple of ideas on how you could make it better. Now, no cost, no obligation. This isn't a sales pitch. You come on with us for 45 minutes. If you like it and you find, uh, you think, well, you know, working with Craig would be helpful, we'd, we'd love to work with you on a longer term basis. If not, you get off the, you get off the, uh, the call with us after 45 minutes and uh, I promise you, you're going to receive great information didn't cost you a penny so there's no downside again proctorcall.com set up a time and meet with us let us help you we'll pay it up front just like just like our training here today we're paying it up front showing you how to do this if you want to know the details of how to do it jump on a call proctorcall.com now if you want these postcards that I shared with you here they are there's there's three of them okay the first one I don't know if you can see it the first one is the target market postcard that you're going to send out to neighborhoods uh, that the buyer is looking for so you can get sellers who haven't listed their home yet to raise their hand so you can start assembling your list of off-market properties okay then i've got a fisbo postcard and then below it i've got a campaign for expired listings if you'd like to get all of that uh just type in i don't know bonus offer type in bonus offer into the comments and uh we'll get you that now, there's one more thing. I have this private Facebook group. Right now, I'm streaming from my uh, from my business page, but I have a private Facebook group. I'd like you all to be part of it. It's called Rich Agent Secrets. Rich Agent Secrets. So if you go to the search bar on Facebook, you type in Rich Agent Secrets, uh, you can join my private Facebook group or uh, just type into the comments below, private group, private group, and we'll send you an invitation and then you can uh, get in this group with all the big boys big boys and girls i mean we're talking about real estate agents that are making millions of dollars a year um did you know that i i, I uh, work with more millionaire real estate agents and i've created more millionaire real estate agents than any other coach or trainer or guru uh one of my clients for example her name is sarah reynolds she is the number one keller williams agent in the world she's done 23 million dollars in commissions and in gross commission income so far this year. Now I get it, she's got a large team, but still, when Sarah started working with me 10 years ago, she was making $300,000 a year. $300,000 a year, okay, up to 23 million so far, the year's not over. Another one of my clients, Rudy Kasuma, um, I uh, started working with him when he was new in the business. Uh, we worked our way up, he ended up being the number one Remax agent in the entire state of California. Now he owns his own independent company. I have lots of success stories like that. If you go to craigproctor.com, click on our testimonials, you'll see this is the real deal. Most of these trainers and gurus have very little practical experience actually making a lot of money in real estate. I get it, a lot of these trainers, they got rich selling you stuff. They got rich selling you seminars. They got rich selling you their motivation and stuff. I actually became wealthy selling real estate. That's why real estate agents like me. That's what sets me apart from the other coaches and trainers. I was in the real estate industry for 25 years. Very successful dual track record. Not only is one of the top real estate agents in North America, but one of the top trainers. So jump on a call with us, proctorcall.com. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments where you're from as well, what marketplace you're in, because we got a lot of referrals going back and forth between top agents in the Craig Proctor network. So let me know in the comments um, your major marketplace that you're in. We'll see if we can get you some referrals. If you want my uh, my offer, just type into uh, type into the comments free gift. Uh, if you want to join my private Facebook group. Uh, just type in private group in the comments. Remember, if you enjoyed this, like this page. And remember to turn on notifications so every time I go live, you're going to be notified. And uh, if uh, you know other real estate agents that would benefit from what we talked about today, you can share this with other real estate agents you know. I hope you found this incredibly helpful. Thank you so much for being with me today. And we'll see you again next time. Everybody take care. 
Have a great day. This is real estate coach, Craig Proctor. Hi, this is Craig Proctor. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And listen, I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business. You see, several times a week, I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel. What I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things, and both are totally free. Number one is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel. You're gonna see a little subscribe button for you to click on. And if you don't already have an account with YouTube, it's free for you to set it up. It's really easy, it's free, but you've got to subscribe to this channel. And the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. And that's gonna let you know every time I load new money-making videos to help you grow your real estate business. So make sure you subscribe right now, you ring the little bell, and we'll see you on the next video.